Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, this communication technique brings men closer, closer, closer to you. Um, really quickly before we get started, I feel like such a knucklehead. I shot this video earlier and I deleted it when I was trying to save it and I can't seem to find it. It's probably somewhere in my computer, but what the heck, I'm gonna do it again. Uh, really quickly, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can get new content. Okay, this communication technique brings, brings men closer to you, closer to you. All right, here's the thing I've observed with so many women. I mean, I, I see this with, in, in, especially when I read social media posts, is they, um, Incessant communication expectation to be done via text messaging, telephone calls, and emails, and predominantly digital communication. In fact, there's this expectation that men are supposed to initiate the conversations all the time, and God forbid he doesn't communicate one day, he goes silent. I, I couldn't believe I read this recently. So a woman's recently been dating a guy. They've communicated every day, but one day they did, he didn't reach out. And her words was, he went silent on me. I'm like, he didn't go silent. He just was busy with his life, probably doing something else. But to correct, characterize that as silent is making way too much out of communication, especially digital communication. And that's what I'm here to talk into because here's the reality of life is that men don't fall in love through digital communication. We don't fall in love through text messaging. We don't fall in love through emails and we don't fall in love through telephone calls. That's not how we fall in love. The one and most important communication technique to bring a man closer to you is to have face-to-face -face communication. <laughs> is to have face-to-face -face communication because the reality is, is face to, because here's the thing, 90% of communication is nonverbal nonverbal. So when you're communicating via text through our thumbs, which is awkward enough as it is, we're missing out on 90% of communication. And we're not actually really getting closer to you this way. The only way we're going to get closer is if we're communicating face to face. And yet you ladies have been trained by so many other coaches, or not trained, but told, is God forbid he doesn't communication communicate one day. Well, then you need to lean back. You need to lean back. Lean back, lean back, lean back to bring him closer to you. Now, I will tell you that a needy guy, an unhealthy guy, an insecure guy, if you've leaned back, he'll rush to get you. There's no doubt about it. You pull back, he'll rush to get you. But that's not an effective communication technique, and that certainly won't won't work with high quality men. High quality men are those guys who know who they are, they love on themselves, they respect themselves. And if you pull away, they're gone. That's what's going to happen with the high quality guy. You lean back, they're going to pull away. Now, when I when sometimes leaning back might be healthy, if you're over communicating, then coming back to the 50 yard line is healthy. That I'm totally agree with. If you're already at the 20 yard line trying to pull him in, then go back to the 50 yard line and let him catch up to you. Because communication should be a two lane street and you should be communicating pretty evenly. He sends you a text message, you send him a text message, you send him a text message, he sends you a text message. But here's the thing, this incessant communication is setting you up for failure. And if you need someone to communicate every day to validate whether or not they like you, then you've already lost the job. You see this t-shirt right there? It says the self-love club. And I'm here to say is you need to love, my suggestion is to love yourself so much that you don't need communication, you don't need incessant communication to feel safe about the relationship because in the right relationship, you're not worried about communication. You're not worried about, you know, the, you know, the amount of communication because in the right relationship, you're communicating with each other mutually. It's a mutual relationship. You're investing equally into the communication. But if ultimately, if you want a man to come closer to you, it's not going to happen through text messaging. It ain't going to happen that way. It's got to happen face to face. And I know it's challenging, especially during a period of Corona and 
shutdowns and all those things and sometimes all you have is text message communication but honestly you're not building much of a relationship when you're apart from one another the only relationships that actually build roots to deeper commitment are the ones that are doing things together it is through the doing that we actually build trust very little trust is built through text message communication in fact if barely, if zero trust is built, but trust can be built when you're doing things together, when you're, when you're helping each other out in your home life, you're helping each other out in your professional life, and you're doing it face to face with one another, and you're facing the bumps and, and challenges that happen too, because a, a you know, healthy relationship is going to have issues. Maybe the guy you're with is having issues with a family member. They're having an issue with an ex-spouse. And when you're there face to face, you can work on them together. But it's so hard to do this through text communication. And ladies, I've witnessed so many of you become dependent on text. And if you're dependent on text, that tells me you don't love on yourself enough. So love on yourself and so you're not dependent on text. And if you want to bring them closer to you, closer to you closer 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 that close then do it face to face and of course when it's sincere and from the heart you can never say the wrong thing to the right person that's in my book one of the chapters is when it's sincere and from the heart you can't say the wrong thing to the right guy so just know that all right, I think you get the gist of where I'm going. I'm sure you have some questions, post it below. Um, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this particular one because I'm just witnessing too many women giving their power away to men in this area of communication. And if you want a healthy relationship, then it's a two lane street relationship. And that's what you should envision in your relationship. All right, that's enough for today. Ah, uh, if you found value in this, please hit the like button. Please tell your friends. And if you'd like to learn more about private coaching, click the link below to schedule a call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. And if you don't have the resources for coaching, check out my VIP group for less than 20 bucks a month. You can have direct access to me through a social media platform. All right, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm going to ask you to give yourself a big, gigantic hug of self-love. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone next to you and give them a hug of love because hugs is a great way to spread love around the planet. And that's my invitation for you today. Thanks so much. I'm wishing you a fabulous day. Bye-bye now.